in essence, witchcraft is about three things. It's about power. It's about potential. It's about danger. And that's a really exciting bundle of qualities. So mote it be. Look at what's happening around us now. Feminism, green politics, the urge to individual self-expression, self-fulfillment. All these are what the modern age has given us. And modern witchcraft does all these things. Therefore, witchcraft today is one of the best expressions of modernity. In a society constantly looking for alternative solutions to age-old problems, witchcraft is now back in business and has a commercial value in excess of £100 million a year. With over 100,000 thoroughly modern witches, such as Gailey's Cod or High Priestess of the Morgans, both practicing and teaching witchcraft in the UK, could we be turning into a nation of pagans? Put the crystal down to represent the north. The wand in west. To test this growing trend, a group of women from a variety of religious backgrounds has volunteered to live as witches for one lunar cycle. So that will be a month. As none of the women have any experience of paganism, they will have to learn all aspects of witchcraft. She's wearing a cloak. Why are you freaked out? Why are you not freaked out? What if you go to sleep and then you never wake up? <laughs> this is dodgy business. This is scary. According to witchcraft, we are all affected by the moon's magnetic pull on the earth. And it's this immense power which is claim that they have harnessed and used for centuries. Tonight, as the dark moon becomes the new moon, the women form their coven. Over the next 29 and a half days, they'll share a genuine experiment into the power of witchcraft and magic. What you're entering into for one month is not just a system of, oh, I do some spells and I'll get exactly what I want out of it. Witchcraft is two words. The craft part of it is the spell work. The witch part of it is where you get the power to drive the spells. Three of our would-be witches work in a hair salon in Clapham, where usually their biggest wish is that their clients would turn up on time. It's a typical morning in here today. We've been juggling clients left, right and centre. It's quarter past one, my client's five minutes late and we'll see what happens. If you put your mind to something and you want it to happen, I do believe that it will happen. But I just don't know if I'd class it as witchcraft. I think it's a good look at it sort of positively as a, a month out of your life to sort of exercise good things, you know? Sort of like a witch's retreat in London. When I think about witchcraft, I think about evil, like those dodgy spiritual things that get you into trouble, so that's why I don't really think about it. I was born a Christian. I don't think it's really... Why are you trying to make things happen when things will just happen itself? Mm. Great goddess and great god. As Gailey's calls a protective circle, to prevent any evil spirits gatecrashing, our nervous apprentices try to remember quite why they are there. I want to be able to feel content and not always worried about where am I going to get my next thing from. Some parts of it I found I couldn't help but giggle. I mean, to walk into a room not having done anything like that before. For enlightenment, for joy, reach down into the earth, to the ever-beating, ever-spinning heart of the Earth Mother. Allow it. 28-year-old Mecca is the first to make a spell. She wants her ex-boyfriend to return the mobile phone he borrowed. to make a spell that every time a phone rings, he feels like he has to come to me with my phone and apologize. Is that a bad spell? No, it's not a bad spell. The thing is, though, that when you start asking for a spell to change someone's psyche, what you're effectively doing is you're setting up a curse. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> evil. <laughs> I 
think it is the phone and the man that I'm after, but I think as as it's getting as time is getting on, I think it's more the phone, um, more than the man, because he is just being a complete twat. <laughs> So what I'd like you to do, almost in a whisper chant, earth, air, fire, water. Earth, air, fire, From the south, he asks for energy. So this man, earth, air, put that fire, fire and water. Why don't you give it back? Earth, air, fire, water. So mote it be. 39 year old Gailies believes she was born into witchcraft. My paternal grandfather told me about the importance of lighting fires, the importance of lighting candles, the importance of bowing to the moon. My first really big memory was actually talking to um, divas or spirits in the grassland and I could actually, I could see them. They were made out of grass and the wind, if you like. The girls are on a roll like and the youngest member of the coven decides to break in her wand. But Maria has changed her mind. It's not a Lamborghini she's after, it's just harmony with her mum. She's very old fashioned and I'm very these days. So can I make her change her views and things? We don't immediately start to think antagonistically. We try and find that common ground. But he's a really good healing herb. Uh, we are so the two people. She's given me these leaves because they're one branch. We're going to be reunited, apparently. So I think that, that, that shall work. But I think the Lamborghini was unlikely. So mote it be. It did feel like a good, like a force of good energy between us all. It really did. The coven closes and our High Priestess of the Morgans takes a more traditional method home. Within 24 hours, some of our fledgling witches are in for a few surprises. No! Yeah, phone's back. No! No! no. Oh, <laughs> I love her. 38-year-old unemployed Sam is a single mother with two teenage children. She is proving to be the skeptic of the group. Well, she asked us to sweep through our houses to get rid of all the evil energy and bring in all the new things. I have to tie these ribbons on the broom. They're supposed to bring me health, wealth, happiness, long life, fertility. I don't want the fertility one. If I had money for this room, I'd get myself a new cooker before Christmas. Talking to a nice Christmas dinner. I feel really, really stupid doing this. Out with the bad spirit and don't come back. In with the good spirit and right. I can't get lost. While Sam remains unconvinced, 34 year old businesswoman Hannah is our first convert. If you're coming home after 11 o'clock at night, you never, ever, ever get a car parking space outside the front door, ever. But as I was driving home, I thought, right, I'm going to take this seriously and I'm going to believe in it. If when I get home, I can get a parking space outside my front door. Sure enough, there were two car parking spaces right outside. And that, ridiculous, I know, bizarre, but true. <laughs> <laughs> 